Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Rex55 from the TRX Gamers, back after a year and a half of not posting. That's some fucking bullshit. I don't know how I got caught up in that. But I'm back. Uh, making another video. It's been a hot while. I mean, I, I posted in the community tab that I was going to do like a playthrough. A Woodmaker rewritten. And then I did a thing. I, I might have talked about the East Origin video I was going to make. I had like <laughs> 15 hours of that recorded. Deleted all of it. Because I just said, you know, fuck it. I don't want to record that. And now I can't even beat the game. But, uh, yeah. I mean, this video isn't scripted. I will be editing it. But it will not be scripted. I just wanted to talk about something really quick here. Uh, make a video about something. I'll probably do more videos from now on. But, um, probably do more videos from now on. But, um, you know, I just want to talk about something real quick. So, you know, I'm a classic games collector. I have a whole shelf over there. I'll show it one day. I'm not, I don't want to show it right now, but I have a whole shelf of like classic games and stuff I have on there. I just wanted to rant about because, you know, I, I buy these from multiple places, sometimes online. Most of the time, I like to go to local stores, support local stores, classic game stores. There are not too many of them, and I still have a... There's still quite a few to find in my uh, city here. When you do buy them, all right, they'll always have their own sticker on the corner. All right, Legend of Dragoon. Beautiful PS1 game. Love this game. Well, these stickers here, right? You don't want to keep them on. Right, you'll want to take it off because you, you select the box, right? This is one from Ben's Game Zone on 114th and Harrison here in Omaha, Nebraska. S slips right off, right? There's no real residue because they're professionals, right? I, I fucking love the people at Ben's Game in Harrison, right? They're beautiful, beautiful people. You know, no damage, just beautiful case. I don't know why this is greatest hits, by the way. This game did not sell to be a greatest fucking hit. Why the fuck you lying? Why? Then you got the Pop Culture Exchange on 72nd and something. I, I don't know why I forgot where it was. <laughs> I, uh, my bad. I think it's 72nd and Pacific. Anyway, this is Shenmue, the predecessor and the forefather to Yakuza series. You know, like a dragon. Pop Culture Exchange has these pink tags, right? Here's the problem with these fucking things. They leave residue. Okay? I'm gonna peel it off. I, I, I did that one off camera. I'm gonna peel this one off on camera. So you can see the absolute crime against humanity that this is. Like, this is this old school shit that doesn't belong on a fucking... Ugh. Oh my god. Good god. Probably me, yeah. Then you got the diary. Oh, fuck. I know some people in the car are gonna be like, you just don't know how to fucking take off a tag. Uh, yeah, I do, bitch. An imaginary person that's not going to comment because I don't get that many comments. Except for my wonderful friends and family. <laughs> Look at the fucking... Look at this fucking thing. Oh, god, dude. I gotta... Try to scrape that shit off. See, there's still some residue left. I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna try to get it in the light. But there's still some residue. There you go. That's a perfect angle. There's still fucking residue on there. Don't fu put fucking tags like that on these classic games. Especially not their price. Because I don't, I don't even remember. That was like about 36 bucks. That's not fucking chump change. For me, anyway. Maybe, you know, for Elon Musk, it's fucking chump change. That's some shit he'd find on the street. For me? No. That's not chump change. That's a few fucking memberships sold at my gym. Okay? But this, it comes right off. If I put this in the light, you're not going to see the residue. Oh, that's not it. You're not going to see the residue. Got me worried for a second. I mean, this is a, a more minor example because the other time I, I got a Game Boy game. Now I thought it was damaged. Turns out it's not. 
I, I tried to take it off, but this one is so hard to fuck on that if I tried to tear it off here, it would, because of the material of this cartridge, most of it would stay on, like the underside part of the sticker and the residue. Don't fucking put price tags like that on your classic game. I get 22 bucks for one cartridge. That's not chump change, right? I, we're on hard times. Happiest days of my life. Anybody who gets that gets a fucking cookie in the comments. Whatever song that's from, if you know. Give me a kiss. Somebody call 911. If I were to take this off, it would fucking stay on there because some fucking Neanderthal decided that this price tag needed to be on this beautiful fucking treasure of a game. It's an absolute disrespect to the legacy these fucking games have. And if your store puts these fucking stickers on again, pop culture exchange my balls. Bruh. That's about it. Really, I, I don't have anything else. This wasn't scripted. I just wanted to make a video. I should get a webcam and not use my phone without any headphones over my computer fan. Oh yeah. Cause we keep it real. We keep it real up in here, son. I like big goons and I can't not like